don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. There it is. Ah, now, buddy. How you doing? Thanks for being so here. I have, to give you, I have to give you a high five from all the way over here because there's like nothing but space separating us, but there's a lot of love. Uh, Ashley Scott brought us to Jackson, your town, Tommy's Dam. Yeah. Which I think Maria would probably take issue with because she's like, um, hi. I think uh, I actually run the town you know, more than. I'm pretty sure it's Maria's. Dam. Your labor, she's management. Yeah. Uh, as it were. But uh, we just um, got to got to. Uh, we just witnessed the the ending of of Henry and Sam's tragic arc. Um, yeah, brutal. there's we have not only do we have a lot of gameplay and story here, but there's a lot of ground to cover with you. Um, so without any further ado, kick it off, man. I want to know how you you have a you have one of the most unique stories about how you got involved in this game and kind of your journey through that. And I don't know if anybody knows, but by all means, <laughs> if you feel free to discuss, or you can just make up something people are like, that's not interesting at all, but my version of the story is fucking awesome. <laughs> well, I, I think that it was probably you and me and maybe four other guys in this sort of final. Maybe? Maybe, maybe it was less. Maybe it was less, I mean. Um, and I, I initially came in and met with Neil and the director who was attached at the time. Gordon Hunt. And Ashley had been cast. Yes. And I came back in and read with her, and it was great. And I thought I was fucking brilliant. <laughs> um, and I didn't know how I could possibly not get that job. Yes, you. <laughs> uh, it, it was one of those experiences where you walk away and you think, Got it. I nailed it. <laughs> well, maybe not that, but you walk out and think, there's nothing I could have done to be better than I was. It, I fulfilled everything that I could do in that part. Right. And it was a great experience. Neil was, was lovely, and Ashley was amazing, and it was really like getting a chance to come in and do a performance. You know? As opposed to just like, hey, you've got a great voice. Do you want to do this character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was Sorry. like... I mean, the, the understanding for video games is you come in and you come in and you give a performance and you're either going to get the fucking thing or you're not. Right. Um, and so it was one where I felt like I left it all on the, the table. Oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. And it, I think maybe, maybe it was two years job. later. <laughs> you're like, I haven't heard back about that job. <laughs> what about happened with um, it? How long later? I was probably two years, right? It was, it was a while. Yeah, it was a while. Uh, and I got a call, and they said, look, uh, you want to come and play Tommy in The Last of Us? I was like, uh, so what I, was it? This is the question that I had. There was, because we never auditioned, we never auditioned for Tommy. I think they just cast you. I think you have to talk to Neil about that, but I think so. I think he I, knew. I mean, I remember all those auditions very, very clearly, and we never... It was Brian Thomas like, oh, this is great. We've already got the person who's going to play Tommy. I was like, oh, awesome. Yeah. And then it was like, you and I are, are I think, getting ready for one of the scenes we're about to do. And it was like, and I think Neil made like a passing comment. He was like, he actually had auditioned for Joel, too. I was like, 
which what? set the scene perfectly. It's like we had this awkward conversation. I'm like, are we good, man? No, no, no we, we were good. Here's, here's that, my recollection of that table read, the first day that I shot, when we shot uh, uh, the first act, essentially. Yeah. Was I, I came in and, and I had met you for the first time and you were lovely and I was like, how'd this guy get like, <laughs> was, I was, I, It was not a judgment on you, but it didn't feel like the tone. Right. And then we got to the, t but you were lovely and welcoming and it was great. I was excited to be there and I, we sat down. You were sitting, and, you're like, and who do you play? You know, the first, <laughs> the first words came out of your mouth and I, and I'm pretty sure I had the exact same experience that Neil had was, that's the fucking guy. Really? Yeah, well, absolutely. I was like, well, yeah, exactly. That's why they cast him. I, I need you to stop praising him. <laughs> he works really notice, hard. To notice he's just walking around going, please keep telling me how amazing I was. It, well, I was pretty fucking good, too. And I'm, I, as talented as he is, I don't think he could have played Tommy. One, that is yeah. a 100% accurate statement because the role that Tommy has to play says. There's a whole character, not, not, not only does Tommy have to do uh, Tommy's work, but Tommy also serves as exposition without dialogue and purpose and background to Joel. My sister made a comment about me once because I, I, I left Texas 13, almost 14 years ago now. And you, you try to keep in, keep in touch with as many people as you can, but then ultimately you just kind of like, you all move on, you get married, you have kids and you just kind of do life. And there was a lot of stuff that I was married before and there was a lot of stuff that I just don't have anymore. My things, just the stuff. And my sister made a comment, she was like, you have very little ties to your former life. And I was like, that's, that's true. And I feel like Tommy is a tie to Joel's former life because in the very beginning, he's the one that's there at the house to get them out to safety. He's the one that Joel entrusts to get them, you know, to take care of her. He's the one that he gives the gun to. And then all of a sudden he's just vacant from their life. And it was the entire, the entire shoot where like, you and I would like, we would ruminate about what happened between these two mm. guys. And we never explicitly stated. Well, what does he have for you here? Cause he just said, I got, went back home and-, and He says, I went back home, most of our stuff is gone. Is. Optional he said, well, he said, well, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, looks just like Hana, too. Mm. Jesus. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I've said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. Man. Oh, oh dude. It's, it's, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm instantly back there, man. I'm instantly back there. How long ago was this? Oh, sh seven years ago, eight? No. Longer. Longer, dude. This is like almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, no, but it's right back in the sound stage. I mean, it's crazy how indelible the experience remains i don't know what you heard but you should see the town we're over 20 families strong now what's Maria crazy is also now place with the idea of being this is not the only thing you've done um uh, and playing Remember through the other things that you have I, I like my modern warfare 2 experience was 100 percent <laughs> like that's my brother man <laughs> not like this is my brother i was like no that's my brother <laughs> like you need to understand and I don't know what it was about, like, look, you, every once in a while, you're, you're afforded the opportunity to be a part of a project that you're like, we're doing something that's, that's bigger than just this project. Whatever people think of, of this game. It's a dog. I'm not ready for this. Not ready for what? What, what, what aren't you ready for? Huh. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. <laughs> Not much of a guard dog. Oh, that's a good boy. Maybe good to have her around. What's the matter? So, oh, I know, I know, it's wrong. It's not wrong. It's just I, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Um, 
when we were shooting this, we had they, they had this mechanic, and it's now become a meme where it's like, hey, can you pet the dog in? Whatever. Uh, yes, clearly you can pet the dog in The Last of Us, but we were recording the VO for this because we didn't shoot this on a stage. This was just done in VO, and Neil, Neil's experienced the loss of a pet before too, and he asked me, he was like, what should we name the dog? And I was like, it would really mean a lot to me if you can name it for my dog that died, Buckley, uh, just before we started shooting this. And he was like, absolutely. And the fact that Neil gave me that privilege as opposed to rightfully so, taking that for himself, he's like, no, I'm gonna name the dog after my pet, um, speaks to his character. And, and I was just like, fuck, I was not, I was not ready for that. I was like, ah, shit. And it's the only, it, it's, there's no other purpose that that serves, but just to show, again, I think that uh, animals in our life reflect to show our humanity, right? Our, our humanity is reflected in, you know this, you've had both incredible and, and um, very, very, very sad somber moments with pets. So our humanity is revealed in, in their, in who they are and who they are in our lives. we got it this time. So why wouldn't you reflect that in the game, right? Yep. Mm. Thank you guys for keeping all of these alcohol and rags and scissors everywhere. I just like how you, I like how you walk in there, go. I'm just going to take all this stuff if you don't mind. Oh, dude, can you use some needle nose pliers, uh, anybody? All right. Smoke bombs upgraded. Why don't you just take the helmet off the guy's head. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Hi, how you doing? My name's Cletus. You need, you need that lamp, Cletus? I wonder. Is there? I can't remember. Is there a? Yep, there it is. I'm gonna take a second to. Uh, so that's a crafting. Craft that's a crafting yep. table. Time to go to work. You're gonna need uh, some bombs and. Time uh, to go to work. So stuff. So El good. Diablo, buddy. El stuff. Now, shorty, uh, shoddy. Uh, that thing's really been doing me good. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that bad boy. Um, can I do fire rate? Sure. Capacity. Get Capacity. Some, get some more absolutely. In Can't do any more than that. I'm gonna take that recoil. Um, shotgun. Mm. Yeah, I also go by holster too, which I haven't done this yet. These are more expensive, but I can do pistol. I'm gonna upgrade. Boom. Long gun. One more. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm below a hundred. I got twenty. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nothing. I don't like it. Clip capacity. Like it. Clip capacity. I could do reload speed, speed or clip on fire. El Diablo. All right. Oh, guys, I'm broke. You're lucky seven. You're fine. Go get some. Man, some... Oh, those are gears. I didn't. Right? Do, I didn't do anything with my with my bow, and I should have. All right, so now I can carry uh, my hunter rifle, or I can carry my shorty and my shotgun. Oh, so that allows you to carry more stuff. Yeah. You're not going to need the bow again. For All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's go kill some things. You are, look at you, yeah. Mr. Bloodthirsty. What's your uh, Molotov cocktail uh, situation right now? I. I've got three. three of them. I never use the smoke bombs, nail bombs for sure. Yeah, yeah, for the bloaters. Because you've played through this, right? Mm hmm. When was the last time you played through this? Uh, two, about two months ago. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Uh, what, what brought that on? Like, besides the fact that it's a brilliant game and it should be like it's a perennial playthrough. Uh, so where are you going? What are you doing? These guys are getting the generator going. We did it, boys! Brilliant nice work, acting. Boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. Well, that, it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are we're having not, some communication. Yeah, we're not, we're not exactly talking. Out. Somebody else tell her the nice things going on. <laughs> uh, so wait a minute. So what, what, what brought about you're like, I, I want to play through this again with the weather the certain way or what was it? No, I hadn't played it in years. Uh, Pretty impressive. I, it was the first time I played the remastered version of it. Mm. And it reminded me how much I love this game as a as a fan of the narrative of it and the immersive nature. I mean, like, I understand why people are so passionate about this game because I feel the same way as an audience member. Mm -hmm. It's like reading. Uh, uh, I was talking to Ali earlier about. It's like a great book. Yeah, man. These characters in this situation exist, and you can experience it again and again, and. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm as excited now about the second game as everybody <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Do you remember, like, quite the adventure, little brother. this... Oh, we, fuck, of course I remember this. We were, I mean, we this went through... He's got everything to do with that little girl. That was in the trailer. Well, this one was like... Go on, then. We worked on this so immune. long. Immune like, what? this is one of those scenes that we, like, 
broke apart, oh, put all the pieces out on the table. Dozen, well, yeah, hours of, I mean, there's nothing like a re having a full rehearsal day. Right. And coming back in the next day and performing. Because it, it always felt like that. Right. But even like having conversations like, do, do I sit, do you stand? And I think you, that was 100% a choice. Yeah. The fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. You finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a firefly in years. But you know where they are. And just I'm the back and forth as far as like every, gear, everything that Joel came with him at, Tommy had an answer to. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This yeah. isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born again friends to do it. They but got I, families too. Tommy, I need this. Mm. The assertion of power you of an older gear? brother. Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. Man. I bring you the cure from mankind and you wanna play the pissy little brother. We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. And I, if I'm not mistaken... You how to kill, right? Yeah. You lay your hands on me again. I think that was something that you came up Shoot. with. If it... Stop him! Don't let him into the building! Come here. I mean, Reload they... speed. What a great scene, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that... This sort of, the beauty of Neil as a director was his willingness to collaborate. You just keep getting shot. Uh, Get down, dude. Tommy, what the fuck are you doing? Tommy's just wandering around. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> his willingness to allow things to happen and then put them into sort of play in the moment. Uh, uh, is one of his gifts as a director. No doubt, dude. Well said. Oh, there's things in there. I will absolutely take that. Bomb over there, yeah. Fire, Fire flint. Shotgun shells, gear, hello. Alright, where am I going here? Up and out, I guess. Yeah, I remember that. I was like, I remember this being a battle arena space, and sure enough... Somebody's shooting at you down there. There he is. There he is. You just gonna, you just gonna bum rush him. Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah. Yep. God, being scared. Being scared. <laughs> hey. Oh shit. Maybe that this wasn't smart. 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 Yeah. Come on, Tommy. Get in the game. I mean, Tommy's doing everything. He's like, there it is. dumbass brother, come walk. <laughs> I thought you, thought you said you remembered how to kill. I uh, mean, when I say that, I have to say... You're an easy target running directly in an enemy. <laughs> I, that's what I do. I, I'm surprised you do this. Don't let him into the building! Hello, El Diablo. There it is. Yeah, except for the fact that I've got, like, no bullets left. All right, There's so. some in that room. Oh, no, you want to stay downstairs, go in that room. You've got all kinds of stuff in there. Hush. Hush your mouth. All right, I'll hush my mouth. You can just sit there and do nothing, wait for somebody to come shoot you. Here he comes. There he is. In there. In there, boy. There it is. Here. Where's your head? There's your head. Show me your head. <laughs> Where's your head? Don't get them bullets. Right, swap out. Here he comes. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Don't forget there's bullets downstairs. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, there it is. You, there's no kneecap. Yeah. Don't run at him. You got a pipe, dude. Bye bye. You guys see anything? We got him. All right. Let's so get there's... to the bridge. No, let's get downstairs and get bullets. Hold on. This guy is a scavenger, man. No, we're trapped. 
Hold on, I gotta go get back bullets. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. All right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. What? Oh, it's an axe! Wow, it's an axe! I'm about to. I'm about to. Ooh wee! Better. Oh, are you going bow and arrow now? Let's put that. not your best um, Let's put both. that away. <laughs> yeah. Did you hit that guy? Or did I mean, no, I, think, I think I think hitting is relevant. <laughs> Maybe just throw a bottle at him. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Go oh, Walton. It's nice. Nice You're flanking him. Flank yeah. I see, like it. See, see, you guys laughing at me. Get oh, get down low. Get down low. They saw you. Yeah, but they also have the high ground. Yep. So here's the deal. <laughs> no, that guy. Get that guy. No, he said, stop shooting arrows. <laughs> dude, have a, dude. Have, you have a little medicine. Killing me, unless those things explode. Ain't have a little shit. medicine. I get so nervous. I just want him to survive. Maybe get uh, axe time. Stop vaulting over shit. Just run. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Ouch. There's a guy coming up behind you. There's a guy right shoot, in front of me. Yeah, oh, yeah, he Come walked on, right into that. Come on, y'all. What's up? There, uh, there, there he is. Back there. Tommy, you want to help me out? Little help, Tommy. <laughs> Down those stairs. Thank oh. you for all of this. Oh, you can get that arrow back that you missed. Yeah, so you can arrow. reclaim. <laughs> See, that's why I want to, don't shoot your arrows. I'm like, I can reclaim my arrows. I have six bullets left. And that's going to be problematic moment. Oh, my Jesus. Sorry, Internet. Woo. They'll be okay. They'll be all right. Go. What, uh, sorry, just just to, just to clarify, what like exactly? Dance, that is, dance is make a med kit. Dance. You got it. I'm on it. That fancy dance. Uh, I would say bombs, right? What do you think bombs down there? Joel, do your thing. I would I mean, say anything. Well, there's a gun down there, so I would. Just... There it is. Imagine if he's like, Jesus, Joel. That's not what I meant. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was that was violent. <laughs> I meant go talk to him. Go talk to him. Have a conversation. My name's Joel. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> Hi, Joel. It's like it's a AA meeting. <laughs> There's a gun right down there too. Oh, 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 oh! That, yeah, right there. See that gun? Yeah, yes, yeah. it is an El Diablo. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Get that. Oh, there's nice. That's nice. I like that. I like the I like the low crawl. Hedge, you're a dead asshole. Oh, you have you're no a, head. You're a dead asshole. You have no asshole. face. You have no face. Huh. Look, guys, I think a lot of things have been said. And there's He's gotta have a gun there. What does he got? Oh, throw a bottle. Throw a bottle at him. I like that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. Terrible shot that guy. There it is. Hi guys. The kids with me. That was too damn close. I always say that that was too damn close. You guys want to play some pool real quick? Oh, that's a small. That's a bar size. You okay? <laughs> that's not regulation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we couldn't get a regulation one into the. Couldn't get the rights. It's a snooker table. Dove over these tables and this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Remember Absolutely. how we talk about adopting? <laughs> I love that great cut. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? And what's that all about? Some seven. 
Nothing I'm gonna abandon you. Does that have anything to do with me? Yeah. Talk about it later. I want, I want Did he tell you where the lab you? is? No, talk about it later. Later. Right. I wonder where Joe would go. Where would Joe go after this? I mean, Boston. One fuck up and then I turn why, into one of those why? widows, Boston okay? Boston is no good. I have to do this. It's what he knows. I don't know what else to say. Mm. All right. Do you agree with the decision that Tommy makes? Like, Fine. like that's a that's a big thing. I've just I've just met go. this girl. Just met this girl. If anything, I mean, anything I, at all happens to him, it's on you. I think that Tommy is who he is because of the choices that he had to make. The choices that led him to the fireflies and away from you. Okay. The things that led him away from the fireflies. Take girl of yours to the fireflies. Uh, and the sort of around. commitment that he yeah, has to make to, come this. to the way he's going to be means he can't do anything but this. Hmm. Talk to Ellie. It's he's what he's holding on to. He's compelled. If, if he, this would be a betrayal of his, uh, to himself if he didn't do this. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Yo. when I Wait, think about... Is? Tommy, I think about she took one of our horses and rode off. Which way? What happened between you and I and the things that we did on the road, essentially? Horses? Oh yeah. Named by Neil's daughter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, and how the fireflies would have felt like a refuge, almost like this sort of cult, uh, and getting into that world and then realizing that maybe. It was not for him, and getting out of that world is how he found himself. Mm. And I think that when you do something like that, you have things that you have to hold on to in order to hold on to yourself. Because, you know, these guys lost themselves in the aftermath, is my sort of experience. Lost who they were? Lost who they were, lost their moral compass, lost their ability to know right from wrong or do anything besides just survive. Do you, do you think that, that Tommy found Jesus, <laughs> you know, even, even Joel kind of says you're, you're born again friends here. Yeah. Like, do you feel like uh, Tommy has atoned for, because I, I, I think it's kind of a foregone conclusion that both of them, like you said, I, I got nothing but nightmares from that time with you. So do you think it was Tommy has atoned for his sins or? I don't think there, is there a way to actually atone for sins besides choosing a different way forward and mm. saying, okay, I've, I have done these things. I will never do them again. And if I ever walk into that gray area again, I betrayed any chance at atonement. Mm. And I think for him, he can't, he's seeing her face to face and knowing, I don't know. I mean, it just feel like he's holding on to that code for dear life and without it, he's lost. Well and he's said. having been lost before. Something interesting, Nolan, about this, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's no, there's no enemies, there's no treasure, there's no ammo, there's nothing. There's just riding through woods with this music playing. It's riveting. Just, yeah, just to sh Just play it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, no, horse, don't do that. How many you see? Too goddamn many. But there was a long time for there to just be nothing there. Go but... ahead, I'll cover you. Show me your head. The guy nice right shot. there to your left. Did, did Tommy get him? No, he did not. Tommy's not a great shot. It's a, he's an okay shot. Well, right. He's he's relying on the NPC. Gotcha. It wasn't too goddamn many. It was just two guys, right? Yep. Tommy's been able to overreact. Oh, God. Hip shot, by the way. <laughs> Bullets on that other guy there? <laughs> Up to the right. Oh, he had a Molotov cocktail for him. That's his fault. <laughs> Ow, that's nasty. <laughs> Why is everybody trying to kill each other? Maybe just say, hey, I could be friendly. Oh, you have no kneecaps. I know abdomen. This. 
Can you run over and jump up into that building? I believe there is some, some something to be gained up there. Show me your head. Is there not a guy in the uh, in the building? This is fucking brutal. Bye. That'll do her. <laughs> By God, get in there. Get some more ammo. In that cabin there. There are things to be had. Hello, arrows. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many good things. Ooh. All right, what can we make here? Can we make a... What do you need? I can make a shiv. I can make a hat, and I, I can make it. a brooch. <laughs> a pterodactyl. <laughs> There's a sale at Penny's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Melee weapon? I can't do that. There's a bunch of them. No. Hmm? What? What? They're uh, not grapes. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this poignant moment just brought to you by... Airplane. <laughs> Where the hell's Ellie? She's not here. She's caused a whole bunch of trouble. Well, that guy's not doing well. She's trying to do the right thing. All right. Oh, can of beans. That'll heal you right up. Um, uh, Sneak River Trail. So there's another. Where are we going? Another building to the left. You gonna go yeah. check that one? You can go check that out, but this is not obviously not where we want. I'm to taking be. mental notes for when I play through this by mm -hmm. myself. Oh, there's a wire up there. You don't want to. Well, we yeah. need our horses. Well, horses. one of them is like on its way to Wendy's. She's it? okay. She's okay. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Did he not hear the <laughs> shooting? <laughs> He was over here. Hey, the, where is everybody? That's all of <laughs> guys, them. Guys, guys, hello. Hmm. Well, you horse need a horse to get over that, I believe. Well, I mean, maybe for you. Well. Oh, some bullets back there. He just whistled for his horse, right? That was me. Oh. Come on, back to the horse. Well, there you go. And there you have horses, it. Horses, horses, horses. Good girl. All I oh. wanted to do was like. Oh, I wanted that one. You've worked on the Western, right? Have you? Mm-hmm. Um, all I wanted to do was like ride on horses. And they were like, all right, so here's a uh, these two pieces of wood that we put together, and I was like, oh, come on, really? And to this day, they still don't have an actual proper saddle at the studio. I was like, we had a saddles the first time. Did we? We didn't have them. Track Street going this way. Uh, we did, didn't we? I don't think we ever did. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe Bill Beamer and, and everybody was smart and they got it. I just, I thought that we had blankets. I, I mean, I know we didn't have saddles this last time, but in my recollection, there was a saddle. Maybe it's all just a blur. Yeah, or just like selective memory. We're like, no, they're of course, they're, they're actual horses. How don't you remember she, that, Jeff? <laughs> how did she ride through all those guys and just, she just riding like the wind? Look, man, if I you don't start know if the story apart. I don't know on her trail. She went her own way. Maybe they were all out. You Fleetwood Mac, huh? For those paying attention. Oh, man. This was the scene, man. Look, by the ranch. Mm. That's our horse. She's got to be there. This is the first thing we shot on the horses. Yeah. And this was the scene. There he looks clear. Tie up. This is the scene that we just worked so long on, and I always talk about this scene. Um, if you ask what's your favorite scene, I was like, I think it has to be this one because it it was good enough, and we chose to we chose to make it better, chose to make it more than what it was. It's a nice song. Of Ellie! Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna grab some things first. Do you remember this? Yeah, of course you remember this scene. Oh, hold on, look at the poster, who is that? Tyrone Scheidler. <laughs> Tyrone Scheidler. University of Texas looked like. 
Cannon for an arm. Cannon for an arm. He would have needed one at this point. <laughs> he was actually one of those clickers. He was just like... <laughs> ah, ah. Bloater. He's a bloater. Became an a excellent grin. bloater. Bloater with a grin. Is that a jersey on that bloater? <laughs> Number 13, man. Oh, yeah. Before you shoot him, get his autograph. <laughs> he was my favorite player before, I, I know this before is he awkward. turned. I have your rookie card, and it would just be an honor. If you could just spit uh, on uh, it. Uh, uh, oh, look at that painting. That's very cool. Hmm. Well, that would be a, 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 one of them Spanish dancers. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a hot bath. You could use one. See, I'm just grabbing things. Glad that this this civilization decided to leave behind nothing but rags and scissors and bottles of alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, yeah. All right, all right. This is this just is a kidding. nice house. Ricky yeah, look Dick at the Dick. two, you know, HGTV and the two separate basins. Here we go. Is this really all they had to worry about? Hmm. Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. Bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. Woof. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than that. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? Losing that I'm going to end up like Sam? Hmm. I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. <sighs> I feel like that was something you always you. struggled what? with. Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... <laughs> You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. 100% improvised right here. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Hmm. Ashley Johnson, Jesus. Yeah, she did a good right job. You're right. right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. I got two walking. There's more inside already. Well, Just the choice of for Neil to go. I'm going to have Tommy interrupt this moment. Come, over there. <laughs> Come on, man. There's two ways out of this. Travis Willingham is just ever populating this world. <laughs> that, just to take a second, that moment right there, I, I don't want to gloss over this. If you haven't seen me talk about this before any, or anybody else, but Ashley got frustrated with it. We, we, we do the scene over and over and over again, and it feels great. And all of us are just like, that's ah, good, but it's not great. And I said, can I take five? And it was like, take 10. And I went out from the corner. And I started thinking about this. And something that I hadn't taken into account was that Ashley Johnson has experienced loss in her life uh, too many times. Uh, she lost her dad. There's other people in it that she's lost in her life. And so the reality of this scene, and she's really communicating something true. And I was, not only was I not listening to Ashley, that means that Joel's not listening to Ellie. And I, I realized I hadn't been looking at her. And this was a problem that I struggled with when we were shooting this the entire time is that I hadn't developed that skill of an actor really just looking somebody in the eye when you're in the scene with them. And Ashley is, I mean, being so vulnerable and honest and, and truthful. And I'm not giving her anything. And she says, every fucking except for you. And she pushed me. And that's when the scene turned around. And that's the, that she only did that once. And that's the one that we went with. She's a brilliant actress. Mm. Brilliant Amazing. actor. Yeah, no doubt. 
Now let's go see some people's heads. Yeah, let's go, let's go break <laughs> some people's heads. Take it out on somebody. Where did he go? You know all that angst. Yeah, cool. about you. <laughs> Feel yes. bad because my daughter's dead. Oh. Son of a bitch. That is not a very soft letter. That is the one and only John Bentley. No, that. what's funny is, I don't think that sounded like Travis. John Bentley's also in this a lot. Uh, did you ever jump? the guy right there, right there. Jump him. Oops. Yep. <laughs> Oh, hi, Machete Boy. You, no, you just... I love a machete. Machetes. The all-new 2013 Machete. <laughs> Dude. There's Travis Willingham. Watch my back. Yeah. How about it? Well, there's your back. Your oh. back looks terrible now. Oh, oh God. Oh, get rock. Oh, okay. And it's up and good. I mean, I put Extra it in the I, upright. I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> wow. Thank you, physics break. Wow, that was awesome. I got to. Hey, dude, I am sorry. You hey, are. You just got yeah, ratcheted. Hey, you were just Look at him. He's like, laid out. I just bought this. Coat. My God, my God, yeesh! <laughs> I just like you did that. And it's like, all right, house is clear. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo! Let's get back to the horses. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I love that I got to do that. That's the only time. We're clear. That I get to do stuff like that. I actually bought, or had them buy me guns. Like I believe. Joel would always have a revolver because he would want the reliability of it, and he's very judicious with his ammo, so he wouldn't have a um, uh, a revol you know he would have a revolver, not an automatic, because an automatic can jam on you, right? So they get me this great replica. It feels the weight of it is good. It's like awesome. They're like cool. You can never shoot with that because we can never control what weapon Joel will go in and out of a cinematic with. That's the only time where they ever did that. And I didn't have a shotgun in my hand. <laughs> so I, I came out of the cinematic oh. with a shotgun. And they learned that with Uncharted, they were like, what if he's got a machine gun? What if he's got a handgun? So you never see Joel with a weapon. Comes out with a minigun. Except for the one that he takes from Henry. He came out with a with flamethrower yeah, or bow and arrow. Do it. So look at this. You already see Tommy with, and the, the, the remorse and the regret already. He's like, have I made the right decision? Now Joel is the one who's behind. Whereas Ellie, when we started, was the one who's behind. It's just brilliant. The amount of care put into the storytelling. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. <laughs> Made up college. Go Big Horns. Shider. Yeah, go Tyler Shider. That is such a Troy line. Go Bighorns. No. Bears. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Go on. Don't make me repeat myself. What are you dad. doing? Your wife kind of scares me. Now he would... That, what bothers me worry. about this? He would have those reins in his hands. He Sorry, wouldn't have dropped I'm the reins. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my, my mind's all made up. All milk capped. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You, you can't miss it. Mm. Take care of that wife here. Hey, could let her keep the horse. There's a place for you here. No. You good? Hey, may we rest? Could we rest for five minutes? Do we have to get to Eastern Colorado? Well, I like that Tommy lives. That was nice. That's a rare thing in this game. It's a very, very rare thing. And I'm grateful that he's alive, too. <laughs> hey, squirrel. Um, right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. I don't want the irony to be lost. <laughs> you just got to play it a couple times. It all makes sense. Mm. Um, that the irony is not lost on me. 
You are you are one hundred percent correct that uh, I could never have played Tommy, and um, there's nobody else on this planet that could have played him. And I, I am I'm honored that I know you got to work with you and could call you a friend. Yeah. Um, Same. And incredibly grateful you decided to stop by and make this the definitive playthrough by by being yeah, a part man. of it. Thank um, you so much. Appreciate it. It has been my pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. It's it's, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. Especially I get to see this for the first time. With the actual Tommy next to me, it's pretty good. Well, my picture with Jim Prescott <laughs> got me in, uh, and I can ride on that with my nine and a half year old forever. Forever. Is that the running back for the. Yeah, for the, the big horns. Big, go big horns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go no. big horns. Now, this, uh, this game remains my favorite thing that I have ever done in the past 22 years in terms of a piece of work and you know it's it, it is my contribution <laughs> i don't want to overstate it in any way shape or form but the sort of satisfaction of going to work and getting to work to the uh most intense uh, uh level that you can and play and feel like you're part of a, a family that is my favorite thing about work in general and i think that this the last of us uh encapsulated that for me as an actor. Oh, Love you, man. Love you too, man. Oh, you can't touch, but they just did. Okay. We're that magic. Brothers can touch. Their arms <laughs> that long. <laughs> um, where we go, you may not follow us. Yep. Um, but thank you for taking us this far, man. My, Love you. my pleasure. The one and only Jeffrey Pierce. There he is. I gotta say, I kind of, I like the beard. Good dude, right? Yeah. Solid yeah. dude, he's a good dad. And you can see, you can see Tommy, you know, right through yeah. and through. I find myself making the same decisions that I made the first time. Okay. None of these buildings look like a mirror. Well, we'll head to Central Grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. That's to the right, Central Grounds. Yeah. It's gotta be. Where did you go to school? North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Which one? Chapel Hill. Let's go. Uh, don't laugh, there's so many of them. Oh, that's a machine gun. Stay, Callis. What kind Callis. of name is Callis, anyways? Uh, it's a rough one. to ask Tommy his name? Callis. Go get that machine gun before I lose my mind. Oh. It's not a machine gun. What is that? That, my friend, is a flamethrower. Well, that could come in handy. Now, this came in oh, Is that late. a crafting table? It is. This came in late to the game, but uh, I was like, really? A flame? We're gonna do a flamethrower? And then you get the flamethrower and you're like, oh, really? <laughs> a flamethrower. It's- So it's worth it. It's so much fun. It's one of the easiest weapons to deplete, but oh, man, it is just- Satisfied? So satisfying. And you. Now I'm excited. To me, it's kind of like, okay, I know what kind of person you really are. Uh, because you you just want to hurt people. <laughs> um, and you know, like just shooting someone is like, okay, I did what I had to do. I'm just checking to see, by the way, if there's anything else up here before we continue. Um, well, you probably want to. I mean, I'm learning here, and I, it seems to me you want to check every door and, and then craft things. Yep. When you can. But I also want to make sure that I get all, before I go craft, I always want to make sure that I've got all the stuff, all the gears, get, get geared up. But behind you, there was a, there was a was thing there. Oh, I didn't see anything. No, there wasn't. Sorry. All right, so we go back down and... Or go back on? Ah, there's nothing right go there. Away. There's another door right down Where there. Let's see, come on, did I go through this one? This is a different door. Again. Just a great opportunity to just kind of... I heard a motorcycle. That's her over there. Hello. Yeah. So into the left. You heard a motorcycle? Right, no, right, right, no, no, behind you. Go back the other way. Places. You haven't People gone in there yet. People would live study, even though they were all grown up. Yeah, study, party, and find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do. Hmm. This way? You already went up there. All right, let's go craft. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. 
So I've got twenty. I think I've twenty-seven. 27. This is going to be short. Yeah, this would be real what, short. What do you think you need in this level? That's. I mean, I can't do much you of need anything. Arrows. What about? What is that flame flower? Flame flower. Flame. What's the flame flower? Flower. Uh, I can't do anything with the shotgun. My bow speed. I, I can't do anything with that. Uh, my reload speed. I can. I guess I can do that, but I really don't want to. Then keep it. Don't worry about it. You don't All right. do anything. I'm going I'm to save my money, as it were. Oh, there's stuff over on those other barrels to your right right now. No, oh, no, you went the other way. That's the left. To your left now. See that? What is yeah, that? Yeah, Something that's... shining over there. Oh, good. So now I have 32. 32, yeah. Okay. Um, what were we trying to find? We're trying to find you, the... You're, you're already up there. Where am I need to go here? Back to the horse. Scooch. Scooch. Mm -hmm. Scoots over, Scosh. Come on. Up that way, up that way. Which way? Do you do you have to get off the do you have to get off the horse? Yeah, I think this is part where it's gonna tell me to get off. Well you can go back around the other way. No, not that way. If you go put drop her off back where you were, those balconies went out to the back side. Yeah. I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. Mm. That's to the Where left and in. No, I think. I feel like we went up these stairs already. Yeah, but there was another balcony up there, and I thought you could jump over that to the other side. Hmm. Look where your head's at. On the other side. Where did I see that? Maybe go in again? Yeah, I'm, I know that the, the horse... That's what I was trying to do. I know the horse can jump areas because we learned that going through to get to the ranch house, but... Does that have to get, do you have to just get about enough speed? No. Let me try it again. I, may I, th I thought maybe the... Uh, Who's just scared? I thought maybe the uh, barbed wire was, was making him stop. Go, scoot. See? That was fun. What did you do the first time? Nice. Well, I don't know. I think you just need a little speed. They would never allow a horse. Oh, that's right. This is a beautiful scene. They would never allow a horse in the quad. Is this the quad? I didn't go to college. No, the quad is just like it's an expression for the central, central part of the campus. Right to the right there. Back the other way. Hey, over there. Is that it? It does look like John Muir. Does it? Yeah, kind of. What you doing with that horse there? Let's see what's in here. Well, get How the mouse, get the mouse. How many there? Fireflies, I mean. You reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. You think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. I love how their tone and convert, even just the most simplest of conversation is shifted. I love that. The, okay, maybe you can open that. Where? Right there. That, that's a different color, so sometimes in Naughty Dog, see how it's a different color than the other iron? So go down there and see if you can oh, open it. Oh, the white, it. yeah. I think you're talking about a drawer. <laughs> Dude, we didn't slancha on this. Slancha. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Stay with the horse. I'll get you the <laughs> yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. Mm. <clears throat> so that's Ellie. It's the thing with this game, it's like I just... Oh, there he is. So is that a runner? Yeah. And that's a clicker, the other one? Um, I can't tell. I think both of them are runners. Now what gun do you have, like you're gonna pull out to take care of this thing? I'd like to use something that's... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're all in that room. 
Just walking around. Is there a bomb or anything you can throw in there and take them all out at once? They're all grouped in. That was very well done. <laughs> fire, fire is good. <laughs> fire, fire. Let's Let's see we get um, Ellie over here. Yeah, excuse me. The flame flamethrower is fun. <laughs> is there? Are there things in there you might there need? There has to be, right? Uh, maybe, or it's just that was cool though. It's just death. There's only death. There was a circle back there, I think. Did I? Right there, what is that? It's a generator. So, is it important that you turn that on? To open the gate, probably. <laughs> People just got blown, blowed up. Burned up, more like. Oof, that was rough. <laughs> Man, all right. Hi. I was thinking, I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Fun fact. Would have been cool. Um. I'm just saying. That was based on a conversation that uh, Ashley and I had on a flight over to uh Oh, you gotta open that gate. That's what you turn the generator on for. Yeah. It's right there, right? Based on a conversation that Ashley and I had, <clears throat> I'm not mistaken, um, I'll be here. on a flight over to London for a press thing for The Last of Us. Um, her saying she would've, would've wanted to be an astronaut. Really? Uh, and it's true. Ashley, she was just obsessed with space. What does that uh, note say? Where when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. No serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. Another cool thing that, that Neil did is he wrote in, Ashley wanted to be an astronaut, and I always wanted to be a singer. And so that's what he did for Ellie and Joel. If you didn't know that. Oh, is that sweet? Super sweet. Now, where are we going? Been here yet? No. <clears throat> this should be up toward the jump. You gotta get. Oh. Aww. Are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. Uh oh. That's never good. Todd Stashman can tell you that. Twelve of them. Twelve of them. I love the colors and like how they, they made these chapters like, you know, spring, summer. Now it's fall. Fall, now it's fall. Hey look, firefly. Joel, look. Hmm. Huh. I love that sound, man. I think you have to go the other way, to the left. You gotta go to the left, back. You gotta back up. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You're going back to the main quad. You just went in a circle. Go to the left, and then the left. I saw a gate of a different color. Gate, that's a gate of a different color. I saw a gate of a different color. 
down to the left, and then another left, and then it's on your right, I think. Down the, there's a firefly. There's a firefly. Yeah, so down to the left. I see that one right there. See that gate right there in that wall? To the, to the right? Yeah. Just go in there. It looked different to me. Yeah, it looked like there's a thing you can open. Let's try that gate. Disconnect generator when not on duty. So the dormitory might have something in there. Watch yourself. You too. There it is. Mm. It's all budge. I love finding stuff. Or having you find stuff. If if the entire game was nothing but just like it's I didn't find stuff. Scavenger. The, like, that would be a completely like separate little side thing. He's like, oh no, no, no. Way, no maybe there's... that's a great game. Scavenger. Scavenger. Oh, level two. Go to the right. There you go. There's stuff in there. I want to find things. Imagine if there are two people in there having sex. They're like, hey, this room's taken. I apologize. We thought I'm we sorry, were. I'm sorry, we were scavenging. You you are we're not the last of us. You, you, you are making you are you are making, making the last of us. Making more of the last of us. <laughs> Terrible joke. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, thank God. I need all the scissors in the world. Uh oh, condoms. Make, it's a dorm room. I can't make maybe one another. This album. kid in eastern Colorado was really getting himself some. <laughs> Go Bighorn. There's <laughs> <laughs> one. What's in there? What's in there? Damn it, spores. Wait a minute. Is this the one that they get up with the bloater? Oh, God. Either I'm doing way better than I did my last time. Oh, that, that's a good method. That's a great one. Absolutely. Oh, it's a bomb. That's good. What's in that bat? Oh, just all manner of. Guns. What's that? There's some. Ooh, machete though. Mm. What? What is that in there? That looks like tea. P? T. Yes, it's the it's T. So Darjeeling tea. Just a bunch of weed. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Well, it's Eastern Colorado. Go Bighorn. Let's get high. So there's spores back that way. And that's bad. Yeah, there was a hole in the ground. So why wouldn't you go in there? Well, why would you? I suppose it's the real thing. You got to go into the spores. Yeah, I, I'm just afraid that I know what this is. This is leading up to. It's not good. Well, you have a bomb. Uh. Well, hold on, because I think. All right. Oh, this is not good. These are all clickers. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Mm. No, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, 